Hello and welcome back to Flip FIFA. I am still absolutely under the weather, but I uh, will persist. I don't want to miss a day of recording. We're up to nearly 300 days of daily uploads, and it's just absolutely ridiculous that I'm able to put out this content. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this one. Probably uh, there'll be two games in this one. We've got Everton and Manchester United uh, as we finish up December, and then I might go through about halfway through the transfer window. Uh, there's a few games in there, but nothing really worth playing, I don't feel. Uh, but there is a Manchester City game there in January, so I do want to play them. We'll save that for the next episode. So this one will probably have half December. Uh, we'll take on Everton and Manchester United, maybe half a transfer window. Maybe we can make some early transactions and uh, hopefully get this side firing towards the back end of the season. Let's get into it. Quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup against Mansfield. I'm sending the reserves out. Uh, I don't really care about the Capital One Cup this year. And uh, we lose it overtime to penalty from Visna Kovs. Jeez, all right. All right, here we go. Game number one against Everton, who are the league leaders. And uh, they've only lost two games for the season deep into December. Uh, they are running away with the lead, kind of. Uh, they're about four or five points clear at the moment. So uh, let's see if we can pull them back to the pack here. And hopefully a win for the Posh. And they're two points in front of Manchester United, Manchester City and Chelsea who are chasing them. Arsenal only on 29 points. So we have a chance to uh, get some points and uh, try and start taking down some of these top sides. Here's our lineup. Joan Stozier, Oxford, Gould, Enclay, Morris, Stewart, Madison, Knott, Taylor and Gonzalez. Oh, that's some great work from Stozier, the right back. He slips it off. Christo Gonzalez works his way into the box. He shoots. Oh, and he's put it wide. Oh, come on. Fuck me. Well, Everton worked a well-worked goal there. He could not seem to defend it well enough. Enclay got pulled out, which left us exposed on the left-hand side. Not sure what Oxford was trying to do, whether to man mark or go at the man. And Jones misses out on the save. And it's 1-0 to Everton here at the Abac Stadium. It's Billy Knott. Slips it forward, Christo Gonzalez takes the shot, oh, and he's put it wide again. Christo needs to find his shooting boots today, that's two he's missed. And close to half time here, it's been all Everton in here in the first half. We've had two real opportunities through Gonzalez, but he's missed both of them. Corner just before half time, and it's Morris, whips it in the box, no one gets on the end of it. It falls to Stewart, who has a dig from range, a good save from Joel. And another corner for Peterborough United as we try and get our way into the game here. It could be all too late already here, so late in the first half. The corner comes in, comes flying out, and uh, looks like they're going to come away with it. And at halftime, we're 1-0 down. And Jono Taylor on a cracking run from the strike, from the start. Oh, my God. From the kickoff, Jono fucking Taylor just weaves his way through traffic. And on the regulation left side for him, he's a right midfielder, but we've played him on the left so often. And that trusty right left boot takes the top left corner. And we're back in the game at one all. Fucking Jono Taylor, mate. Absolutely scintillating. One all. Good work from Madison. Here we go. Pushing forward. He's waiting for that Cristo Gonzalez to take off, and he gets him. It's a good pass. It's Cristo Gonzalez blazing in on goal. Cuts back nicely. Cristo Gonzalez! <laughs> <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't fucking die right now. Because it's a 2 1 lead. What a move there from Cristo Gonzalez. He just cuts back inside and smashes it past Joel to make it 2 1 here at the Abac Stadium. Finally finishes one. And that makes it 2 1. Oh. Madison forward, Cristo Gonzalez again. Starting to create some issues here and he works his way inside. Still going Cristo. Still going Cristo Gonzalez. Fuck you, Everton. They took the initial first goal when Cristo Gonzalez missed a couple, but he's found his feet now. And he's starting to fly here. Moves through. Bang. Fuck you, Everton. 
3-1 now. And the Posh are starting to fly. Forrester out wide. Here's Taylor. Jono Taylor skips in from the wing. Cuts back nicely on it. Jono fucking Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Scintillating this man. Captain of the club, doing a fucking job. He's been with us from the start, a Peterborough original. And holy shit, dicks. He just smashed it in home. 4-1 Everton. Well, they didn't see this fucking coming, league leaders. You didn't see us coming, did ya? Didn't expect this to come for you, did ya? And it's 4 fucking 1. John O'Taylor gets his second for the game. And this one's done. Absolutely done. There it is, full time, three points in the bank. Fuck you, Everton. 4 1, Peterborough United. 10 shots to 6, and Gonzalez 8.9. Sending reserves out here against Luton Town, and Phyllis Kerr gets red carded, and we still win 3 0. All right, here we go. Manchester United, second on the table. Old Trafford, Peterborough United, starting to turn into a bit of a giant-killing team. It was really that Chelsea game that everything's just turned around. An absolute shellacking, and uh, since then, we've been in some red-hot form. So they're in second. Chelsea's gone to top. Everton dropped to fourth with the loss, and we've moved up to sixth, sniffing at the heels of Arsenal. A big game here at Old Trafford against the old firm of... Manchester United and uh, they've got Lukaku up front but Gonzalez has been in some disgustingly good form and he's moved up to third equal on the golden boot and uh, let's see if we can find him again today oh, what a save from Jones the cross came in on the hop and Jones with the reactions and it's a corner for Manchester United Oh, Jones again with a cracking save. Our defense is falling apart a little at the back. Not really covering those wings properly. But Jones has been great. Oh, fuck! Well, it was definitely coming. They were just slipping through us like we weren't even here at Old Trafford. And finally, they put one past Jones. He's made about seven or eight saves already. Well, Oxford, I'm not sure what that was for a clearance, but no one got on the end of it. Quick ball to Lukaku, and he smashes it home. 1-0. And at half-time, we're 1-0 down. It seems one of those games where we just can't really get a touch on the ball. Oh, good work from Oxford. Christian Gonzalez. Looking forward to it. Cristo Gonzalez. Oh, crossbar. Oh, Madison's picked it off. Can he finish? Oh, get in. Oh, you are joking. Slips it forward. Piccinocci. Oh, Farman with another good save. And it just has not been our day here at Old Trafford. Failing to really get much possession. And we go down 1-0. Seven shots to five. Stewart with a 6.5. All right, the transfer window is open, and this is the U Squad monthly report. Mezu is an 86, Moya an 88, Dele 85 to 94, uh, Mario 87, Obamo, Oba, Omabo, Kwa Omabo 78 to 94, Saibum 82 to 94, uh, Rumpa 82 to 88, and Camperesi 78 to 92. All right, sending the reserves here against Northampton. We win 3-0. Transfer offer of 12 million for Gonzalez. You can fuck off. All right, we've got a transfer offer here for our goalkeeper in 05 from Luton Town for 325. We definitely want his evaluation. We're going to go for 525. First round FA Cup here. I've sent the reserves team out. We're probably going to lose. But we come back and win 3-1. Goals to Guerra and Kano. Who are, Kano's back from uh, his loan spell and Griffin. So we progress through to the next round. First team rolling out here against Middlesbrough. Taylor picks up a knock in the first minute and it ends up being a nil-all draw. One year loan offer for Jack Close will accept. All right, we've got a big transfer offer here for Elton and he is growing, but he's unhappy. Bayern Munich could come in with 4.8. Uh, we're going to go for 10 million if they want Elton. And I like to keep him around the club. He's come through from the youth academy and I feel that he will be big for us in the future. Starting to make his name in the second. 
but uh, still needs to grow a little bit more. So 10 million is the asking price. All right, Christo Gonzalez, 15 and a half million. Well, that is not going to work, but let's put a number on his head. Let's go uh, for 50 million. That's what we think he's worth. And a one-year loan for Georgie Harding. We'll accept that. Setting the reserves out here against Mansfield. We went 2-0. Goals to Griffin and Gonzalez. All right, they've come back with 7 million for Elton. And we're going to bump that to 9. All right, final scout report from the Netherlands in 88, 81, 72, 88. We're going to reject all of them. Final scout report from Ireland. Mark Murphy. No, not good enough. And final scout report from Russia. All right, Mozarov, we will sign up. Uh, Boris Grinkov. Great name. We'll sign him up. And anything else here? No. One year loan for Alexander Darlin will accept. Right, need to send our scouts out to the next countries. And uh, let's just go to the dish here. And I'm going to pull this one out. And it is Turkey for a defensively minded player. So down to Turkey for a defensively minded player. Next one is going to be this one here. And it is. Fuck me, we're going back to Ireland again. All right, any player. And the last one is going to be this one. Algeria for a winger. All right, we're spending a bit of cash this month. Uh, Algeria for a winger. Done. All right, I uh, put Alexi Gonzalez and 2 million on the table for David Carlson, who is the Ibrahimovic regen. He is two ratings higher already, three years younger. He wants 35 grand. Uh, we'll offer that for him. And we're going to offer him an important first team player because he will definitely be our secondary striker behind Gonzalez. All right, eight and a half million. They're starting to play some ball here. I'm going to bump it back up to nine and a half. And we picked up 67 grand for the FA Cup. Oh, a big offer here for Stuart Jones of 16 and a half mil. And he's not going anywhere. Reject all offers. Transfer offer for Marcus Madison, six million. Reject all offers. And Bayern Munich have come... Wow, they went lower. We went higher. And they've said, all right, we'll match you 9.5 million. So Altonen will be going to Bayern Munich for 9.5 million. That's some pretty decent business uh, by Peterborough United. And that's where we're going to leave this one. Uh, we're sitting back in 7th from 38 points. I can't see us catching the top four. Uh, but we may be able to sneak into at least a Euro League spot. Not too sure if there will be another season after this. That'll be completely up to you guys. Maybe it'll be like a full season simulation or something. I'm not too sure. We'll play that by yeah a little bit later in this season. Um, but yeah, the form has been okay. It's been okay. It would have been nice to beat Manchester United there, but uh, we did beat Everton and we've knocked them off. So uh, it's those fucking cunts Chelsea at the top of the table. But that's where we'll leave it today. Thanks very much for tuning in. Um, we'll see you in the next one where we finish off the transfer window and get into the second half of the season. I'm Spine DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.